Hello everyone, and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, the inevitable one, Monica. <laughs> and I'm your other inevitable host, Nasuki. I almost no. forgot my name for a second. <laughs> Prepare to be eliminated. Prepare to be assimilated. No. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Monica versus Popo. <laughs> that must have required a lot of... Uh... Wait, hold on. What the fuck was that line that I was trying to use as uh, a segue? That segway. must require a lot of dedication. Good job. I fucked up my own segue. Yeah. That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. Uh, Monica, can you just move, like, slightly more to the left so we don't have to see your face? <laughs> she just gives me, like, stare. Anyways. <laughs> don't yes, have to worry thank about you, the cameraman ignoring moving this the camera yeah. slightly to the right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't fix this camera motion. <laughs> you should play something for us sometime. Uh, I just imagine her playing Long Tall of Sally. <laughs> that's... Or how am I supposed to live without you? Isn't that played by piano? I don't know. I know some portion of it is played by Who piano. Who knows? I don't know many people who play yeah, piano. Yeah, I don't. I don't I think <laughs> of it. I, I only can think She's of uh, piano man. Little Richard. Piano Man. Da! Da! Piano Man! This oh, song that sounds yeah. just like this. Yeah. But I don't know the words for this song right now. Right, right, I know it. Okay. Monica looks at me apparently. When yeah. is she not? <laughs> well, I am working on writing a song for someone, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Nice. I look forward to it. Uh, nice. Is that so? Hey, in that case, I won't let you down, Kazuma. Won't let me down. Won't let me, won't let me, won't let me down. Exactly. I think I'm losing my mind now. <laughs> I'm losing my mind standing here listening to that. Oh, here, would you like me to go back so you can say ah. Monica smiles sweetly? No, we've already done that line before, Kay. so fuck it. I swear you even skipped that same line <laughs> before. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Oh, I want a lot of pressure. Ha 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 ha, don't worry. Be happy. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. Oh. I've been practicing a lot so I can share things with you. Oh. Would you oh. like to see what I've been practicing in the closet right here? Keep it in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> Yes, you do. They're in the middle of the camera. You can't not see. <laughs> I'm literally not certain how I can make this more yeah. uh, more in your face. Should I get closer to the camera? I can do that. Uh, what are you doing? Are you doing another fucking zoom thing? <laughs> I can. I guess I will. There. I guess I did. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> there you go. It's more in your face. I'm sure if Monica was referring to the whole club, no. No. Or just me. Okay, yeah. I'll make it very certain. No. 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 In that case, best of luck. Thank you. So I didn't miss anything important, did I? Arigato gozaimasu. So I didn't import... I didn't... I'm sorry. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't expect you to become <laughs> Japanese for a second there. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Su suddenly Japan. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't miss anything, did I? Besides no, that? No, not really. <laughs> I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nisuki has already ran off into the closet. Oh, Kazuma. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Sure, why not? I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. You certainly could. Simply, I no. want to spend time with Natsuki. All you have to do is say, no. no. It, it's that simple. I guess we're nicer than we thought. 
Well, I guess I need to make sure Nasuki isn't waiting for me. I am. That's my voice, bitch. My apologies, you can't know what line I'm going to give Natsuki without me telling it to you, which would ruin the surprise of the line. Therefore, I have no choice but to say it myself. Surprise with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> After we finished reading yesterday, she... Oh, she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Okay. <laughs> What's the story anyway? What's the story, Wishbone? Oh, I see you didn't read ahead. That's fine. <clears throat> well, mm. A look at the cover of the book. It's Hunger Games. Oh. I swear this is German. The book is titled Portrait of Marco. Yeah, it's German. I know that it, name it, is look, German. It can be whatever country it wants to be from. It's... There's an ominous looking eye set ooh, on the front of the cover. What, do they need to call it Mein Kampf? Wait a minute, ominous looking eye. Is this uh, one of those national treasure books? It's one of those books based on the concept of that, where it's some kind of secret cult book or secret organization yeah, book. Or maybe 39 Clues, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's like some lost book to time or whatever. The lost book of Doki Doki Literature Club. It's lost for a reason. And we only can see it in a certain mod. Uh, basically it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. Uh, so, literally, it's... Weapon, it's the Weapon X program, but a book. Sure. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns <laughs> them into killing machines that lust for blood. Look, I already <laughs> said you were right. Wolverine. But the faculty gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Oh, but anyways, I'm really into it. Um, did you know, um, I don't know if this is true or not. Um, I'm sure it's been presented to them in some form or way. But they actually, they were thinking of asking Hugh Chapman to come back as Wolverine, but they don't know he yet. did say that. <laughs> they don't oh. know yet because they want to maybe do a younger actor. Yeah. I'm still going, I'm still hoping for, uh, like, uh, I'm still hoping for, yeah, I don't know who. I can't think of who to, to make. We, we've come up with who to be, uh, uh, Magneto, and yeah. who to, who to be, uh, Xavier, Xavier but I, we've, no one's come up with a, uh, with a good, uh, Wolverine yet, so. I bet sure Brad Pitt could do it. No. They're more likely to try to go for The Rock or something stupid. The um, Rock has four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, no. yeah. they think The Rock would be maybe Red Hulk. Anyways, uh, I'm really into it right now. Uh, the book, I mean, not the thing about cutting off limbs and attaching them to people. Okay. That's kind of dark, isn't it? Well, as you can see by her hair, she's pretty emo. I'm going to agree with you and move on. <laughs> Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice bullshit. So that dark turn came from nowhere. Yes, that nice story where she literally said, I've been into horror recently. And said, here's a book. And also, I, this has got to be reflecting the The person who thinks, who's into horror recently, thinks you might like this book. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is statement reflects the game. Oh, it is. This book is not the same book if you uh, if you play the Yuri route in the first uh, part of the game. Really, it's a different book. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like has nothing to do with this. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It did yeah. change. Yeah. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Kazuma? You know, like cutting people's arms and limbs off and sticking them on other people? Me personally, no, I'm not. Into that. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's not. That. It's totally. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry about it. Oh, good. Don't you're worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. See? Like we said. said. So sh she's so shy. 
and reflective on Reclusive. Reclu oh. You know, that thing where you, where you <laughs> hide reflective. yourself. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. She can read minds. Uh, it's just that this kind of story, it's the kind of... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. <laughs> Ain't it funny how life changes? Yes, it is funny. It's almost like impactful events in your life can make everything look different. You know, like the death of a loved one. Jesus. A death of a, a loved one can definitely make everything look different, can't it? Jesus almost like what's happening right now. It's a metaphor. Ha uh, ha. Oh, no, wait, it's not a metaphor. It's literally what's happening. Actually, it's not a metaphor. Yeah, it's literally <laughs> literal. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'll stop talking now. When, when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the yeah, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyways, then suddenly I'm flying. Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. No, oh, I'm again. sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. You should already have. Well, I guess it's all right then. Bitch, put your phone down. <laughs> I did the thing I was gonna say I was doing real quick. All yeah. right, we're good. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Oh, I just literally won't show you. No. Well, I guess I'm pretty I can sure look... we tried to check before. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I can freeze frame and see what exactly what she says, but uh, I can't do that right now. Okay. Anyways. Uh. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? <laughs> and please stop me if I start talking too much, stop. like I'm doing right now. Stop. Wait a minute. <laughs> exactly. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. Yeah, because main character is so dense that he wouldn't even know if you're talking too much. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. That just means you're passionate about reading. You are an enabler. I just noticed that the words on the wall are in Japanese. Huh? <laughs> that is oh definitely Japanese. Oh my god, yeah, it is. I just noticed oh. that they actually did put they Japanese. They are in things. Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Salvato, you are from America. You're not Japanese. <laughs> he purposely made it. I know. It, the whole point's a Japanese anime. Uh, Living like, in America. It's a Japanese dating sim, so it's supposed to have Japanese tech, but you know what I mean. I know. You're not Japanese. Not. The least I can do is listen. I, I imagine Nasuki put that there. Though. Yeah. This man is an enabler. It's a literature club after all. Oh, uh, that's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading, right? Yes! She, she had it. She had the crimson jacket for a second. I mean, you don't have to, but... Ha <laughs> ha! What are you saying? Uh... Let me just read the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into something comfortable. No, I slip into the seat next to Yuri. It's all right if I sit here, right? I sit in front of Yuri, and not in front That's of in front of her what? in a desk or like on a, in, in a desk in front of her. Literally, in front of her. <laughs> sitting on her knees. <laughs> yes, that's what you're. Hey Yuri, on. can you scoot the chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. You sure? You seem a little appreciative. Apprehensive. No. I mean, she is appreciative. Too. Well, yes, but <laughs> still wrong. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. Ah, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I swear I, I read that wrong. I open the book and start the pr prologue. I think you actually did read it correctly, but eh, whatever. I swear, I must have missed a word. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. 
It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulders as I read. It's almost as if her pre she literally is over your shoulder as you read. I swear there's a country song I'm forgetting. Anyway, it's not a particularly bad thing. You know, in thinking about it, I can't actually, like, I actually can't imagine a country song talking about someone looking over your shoulder as you read. No, 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 it it's just like a, a certain line yeah. in a certain song that I'm forgetting. Oh, I... Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. In the corner of my eye stands a Yuri. <laughs> That's better, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. She's looking at me. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Uh, sorry. I was just bathing in the feeling of <laughs> something. I think it's like the feeling of the warmth of your body or something. Come closer then. <laughs> Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do. Uh, I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Even Kazum was enjoying this. Yeah. Here, this should work, right? I slide my... <laughs> I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. You're an enabler! Oh! I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we learn... Yeah, learn. Once we <laughs> lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Oh, uh, here. Hey, it's another scene. Yep. Here he takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I don't... I do! <laughs> oh, I'm getting married, apparently. <laughs> I do the same Okay, as the only person who could possibly pronounce you, I'm not pronouncing you. You can fuck right off. <laughs> I mean... I do the... Same with my right arm on the right side of the book. I get the feeling that actually attempting to read this way would be incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah, you would be smushed up against her shoulder. Yeah, like... Uh, you would be touching shoulders. Well, that's what they said. It's basically... I imagine that this isn't what they're saying, but I imagine you have your arm around her and she has her arm around you. Like, her, the other arm. She clearly doesn't. Yeah, but like, that's... Well, no, this is your arm. Uh -huh. But yeah, this is her other one. Yeah. But yeah, like, that's that's oh, the only way I can imagine you doing that where it'd be any kind of comfortable. And that's too... Yeah, this yeah. has got to be uncomfortable. Yeah, I can't so. imagine oh. this being comfortable. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer to... Get yeah, than before. Yeah, maybe you should just be on the floor. Lurking on your floor. It's actually kind of distracting me. Yeah, like, what? You mean that literally sitting, like, arm to arm with a girl might be a bit distracting you? I couldn't Can't imagine. imagine. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my... Hey, look, you're bathing in the warmth of her body. Vision. In the corner of my shoulder. Stanza girl. Nope. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Huh? <laughs> to turn the page. Oh, sorry. Didn't know you read that quickly. Here I am <laughs> on the road again. Here I am rocking on like the stage. <laughs> Here I go. Turn the page. Again. Here I go again on my own. I have read the fucking line. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Time. <laughs> I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I 
I swear, again, another country song I'm not thinking of. I don't know, I don't know. how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. Uh, you're not as used to reading, right? Uh, I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Couldn't imagine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what else would you be doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, is that... Hold on. Is that Monica's desk up there? Like, the teacher's desk slash Monica's desk? Yeah. Or, like, the fucking Dude. one tiny computer? My god. That is a horrible desk, man. Terrible. Terrible placement, too. Yeah. You already no longer ask me if I'm ready. I I'm ready to turn the page. You're not ready. Instead, I just assumed that... She finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own violation. Volition. Oh. Violation against a younger bro. Violation! You fucked up. We continue the first chapter in silence. It's the sound of silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an... Intimate. Intimate exchange. Yeah, I could understand that with how close you are. <clears throat> like, you literally have to... You're handing her a page each and every page. Yeah. 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 My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Yep, that is totally an intimate shame. Also, it's poetry. Good job, you've written a poem. <laughs> hey, Yuri. That might be a silly thought, but... <laughs> yes, I'm not. I'm reading her mind. What might be a silly thought? <laughs> you I think you just had a stupid thought. <laughs> what? Yuri, stop thinking of me in bed with you. <laughs> you saw that. Oh, God. I, I, I didn't think he was fucking psychic. <laughs> Actually, does that even count as being psychic? I didn't know he could read minds. Holy fuck. <laughs> the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Uh oh. Ah? Uh -huh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, that's, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought that you meant something else about her. Something else? Oh, never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ah! Yuri, are you feeling all right? Oh? Uh oh. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. You, your breathing is a little... My breathing? B -b Breathe out. Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if she, to feel her heart beat. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, anyway, I'm fine. Oh, I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Uh, Kazuma, did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Uh, oh, no, nothing. Nothing really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. Ha, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Okay, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? You know, by starting with me, instead of putting me last, like always. Why do you put your girlfriend last, <laughs> among other girls? <laughs> I don't like that, you know. Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? She might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is this okay? Yeah, I 
I was just asking. It's not like we share poems with each other or anything. We only share them with you. And that one time that Yuri and Natsuki shared stuff so that conflict could start. I mean, never mind. <laughs> I stand up next to you. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Dang, that's some good thinking. Then slip it back into my bag. Even I can't do that. I need, I need Hey, look, we literally can't put Monica last because Yuri isn't here. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. There we are speaking. But it's pretty disappointing after your last one. It was literally one thing off. I'm not sure how it could be that disappointing. Then again, if this one was good as your last one, I would be completely pissed well I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time I guess I didn't know fair enough you're still new to this so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away I mean everyone in the club writes really differently from each other Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. I can't imagine. imagine. Fucking For instance, anime protagonist! Me. I noticed that your... Yeah, your still works. Yeah. You're spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care that you... W Baka, you, you bitch, you ditched me for Yuri. Oh, sorry. After all, I was... Taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything, Baka. In the closet. Still, you should have at least look over my poem. You'll. Yeah, that <laughs> sentence. I, I, yeah. Uh, you'll probably. Blah, 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 blah. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. Okay, well, we'll get to that next time. Now that younger bro. Can't it, speak. Yeah, can't speak, <laughs> and also we're over time. So, until next time, remember, the future may be uncertain, but what is certain is something fishy is going on. Something. Sorry, unnatural. something glitchy is going on. <laughs> something unnatural. Yeah. Also, you guys are awesome, and more Two Bros Game Night. We'll see you on the next game night. Goodbye, loves.